Hey there folks, Shashir back here um, with Team 7161 Viperbots Hydra for Behind the Bot. With me I, I have Nick, Alfonso and Avi um, and they're going to be talking about this really, really innovative bot. We saw their robot reveal earlier this, um, over, actually pretty, clo pr pretty close to today and it was really, really very powerful. So um, Nick, would you like to uh, highlight some of the parts about your robot, especially like the, the drivetrain? Yeah, sure. So something interesting, uh, something interesting about a robot is that we have a six motor drivetrain uh, and as y'all know, we only allocate eight motors uh, to, for your robots, that's a little bit. And um, six out of those eight are allocated to our drive train. And this allows us to, uh, as a main depot robot, uh, our acceleration between the uh, crater and the lander is very good. And we're allowed to do efficient cycles that way. And in order, because we have a uh, six motor drivetrain. We only have one motor to uh, have power our intake lift and one motor to power our vertical lift to score minerals. Uh, and in order to make this possible, uh, I, I, in the end game, we need to be able to hang. So we integrated a PTO system, which allows us to use these same three drivetrain motors to uh, hang our robot at, in the end game. And how this works is that. Uh, down here, you can see that there's there's two two gears. Um, this one uh, uh, is our PTO gear, and how this works is that when the when this is not engaged, this this drivetrain is uh, like can move freely. And uh, as you can see here, this axle, the, this gear is not moving at all, uh, even though it's uh, wrapped around this sprocket right here. But once you engage the PTO. Uh, now this gear is locked onto this axle, which now controls uh, the, our lift spool at the same time. So during a match, this while we're driving around, this would be disengaged, and we can uh, spin our spool with our other motor that's uh, mainly uh, geared for speed. And uh, this is belted on the side. Are we good? Oh, no, sorry. Too okay. It's yeah. Wow, that's a really, really cool um, drivetrain. Um, and so you guys revealed, and it's one of the most talked about reveals this season. Um, what do you guys do in terms of your strategy? Like in terms of, you said that you were a depot-centric robot. Yeah. So yeah, one of the things we did this year is um, at the start of the year, we decided that most teams would go for the close crater and go for something like diagonal slides or pivoting arm. And we did this last year too, in that we mainly ran far crypto box. And so this year we varied our strategy, but did something similar where we knew we wanted to run um, the depot side or the far crater. And so that's one of the reasons we did six motor drivetrain. Um, but also uh, going with far crater, we found that we're one of the more competitive far crater teams, even if we are, are not necessarily the top five close crater teams. And so hopefully going into alliance elections, um, we'll be one of the more competitive uh, far crater teams. Very, very cool stuff. Signing off for first updates now, uh, I'm Shashir, and this is the amazing 7161 Viperbots Hydra. We need your help to keep fun loud, live, and independent. Help us by visiting our Patreon to pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now. You can also support fun live on Twitch for a few bucks a month or by linking your Prime account for free and clicking subscribe. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent.